One thing I think the governor has done very well, surprisingly well, is support prison reform, which is re resulting in less money having to be spent incarcerating people. We incarcerate too many people for too long in Pennsylvania, and uh, you know the governor has actually been very good about, and Secretary Wetzel from the Department of Corrections have been very good about uh, working with Stuart Greenleaf and myself on the Judiciary Committee uh, to pass the Justice Reinvestment Act and to try to find alternatives to prison which is going to save all of us a lot of money and, and just and a lot of heartache as well. Um, so that's a positive. On so much of the rest of it, however, I just feel that it's a, a completely misplaced uh, sense of priorities. Uh, he said in his budget address that essentially he's going to be rejecting, or at least for now, rejecting Medicaid expansion. Keep in mind that this is something that's paid for well over 90 percent by the federal government. We have 800,000 uninsured Pennsylvanians. Uh, the Medicaid is going to you know, help insure those people, which will result in fewer people not getting the health care they need, fewer hospitals uh, supplying uncompensated care, less cost shifting. It's, it's just a win-win all across the state, uh, which is why Republican governors even from other states, like Governor Kasich from Ohio uh, and Governor Brewer from Arizona, no liberals, uh, have adopted the Medicaid expansion because they see it's just a really good deal for the state. Why Governor Corbett is rejecting this? It seems to me to be just, again, another ideological rather than a problem-solving move on his part, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, he brags about level funding universities. Le keep in mind, level funding is a cut. Uh, and this is on top of numerous cuts in his first two budgets, dramatic cuts. Level funding is a cut because of inflation. And the things that universities pay for typically inflate at a greater rate than inflation as a whole. So the, 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 what that means, what level funding means is fewer opportunities um, for people to go to college. Um, transportation is a huge issue, as you know. Transportation, there was a governor's commission, came up with a bunch of recommendations. The governor was silent on those recommendations for about a year and a half. Uh, Finally, he's proposed uncapping the, uh, o the oil franchise, which, which I support, uh, the uncapping, but it, only, it doesn't raise nearly as much money as we want. In fact, it doesn't raise nearly as much money as the Republican Party in both the House and the Senate want. Um, and you know, these are, this is choking us economically. We have more unsafe bridges than any other state in the nation. Um, we're not putting uh, money into fixing our roads and bridges and infrastructure as we should. And the only reason we can't raise the money to do that is because uh, the governor doesn't want to make Grover Norquist too mad at him, which is irrational to me. Grover Norquist doesn't live in Pennsylvania. We really shouldn't have to uh, kowtow to him and beg his permission to do things that are important to our state. Uh, the governor feels that uncapping this fee is not technically violating the pledge he made to Mr. Norquist. But uh, again, I think the pledge that you make to people of Pennsylvania is much more important than anything you make to Mr. Norquist. So I, I would hope that the governor would you know, go from his figure, which is uh, below $1.9 million, and go up to at least $3 million, which is where the Senate Republicans are. I think we actually need to do more. Um, I, I would also say, without uh, trying to be too long-winded or set some sort of record, um, when, when Secretary Alexander of DPW was here, he, they cut all cash assistance to the poorest people in Pennsylvania. And he talked about how painful it was and how if there was only more money, he didn't want to do it. Well, there is more money now. There was $153 million in additional money that came in uh, through tax revenues that we didn't expect. That could easily fully restore all that funding, which the, the people at the poorest end of society rely on. Um, so I'm, uh, that was not in his budget proposal. He didn't talk about poverty at all in his budget proposal. I'm hoping we can, uh, you know, with the increased strength of the Senate Democratic Caucus, I think we'll make, we'll make sure that those are issues.